So the first step is knowing what you have. What is a drone? What's what's on it? What are the critical materials? You're going to get them. People are going to go for the high price things, the cobalts and the metals. And if, if there's any rare earths, electronics, they're going to get after the electronics just so that nobody else gets them. I mean, they, there's information there, but it's the rest of it, the rest of the parts, uh, grinding them up. You could grind up uh, the, the polymers and the plastics and the carbon fibers matrices and put them as aggregates. You could put them in, in, in cements. One of the ideas was to put these materials into uh, mounds of, of, of earth dirt uh, to make them structure, essentially the same as you do uh, roads structures to make fillers, uh, to make them more robust. You could put them in to have earthen dams that might be stronger lattices. Uh, one of the, again, I don't want to get too pie in the sky. That's a deliberate pun. I mean, it's a, it's a pie in the sky. It's got some value. You could put them in the skeletons and the airframes into reefs as barriers. They essentially allow it to, to break waves and things like that, provided that they don't contaminate anything. And that's the key is, is what on board would give you heartburn uh, besides the, the, the obvious components getting the materials? What would be an unintended consequence of doing anything with these materials? Mm -hmm. So there's an infinite supply of these materials. The question is, is you want to know what's in them and you know where they are. And then what you do next is you mine them because you now know, now you have a resource and you can take care of it in that way.